Welcome back. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Taking a look at uh, sports development in Nigeria. Actually dissecting all that happened at uh, the National Sports Federation's elections. Godwin Kienka uh, was a presidential aspirant for to become the president of Tennis uh, Federation of Nigeria. But that didn't happen. A lot of abracadabra happened at that place. And Godwin is trying to break it down for us. God, Godwin, let's, let's, you, you, you touched athletics, you touched taekwondo, you've touched uh, tennis. You, you, you've made use of Kabao, you've made use of some names in the ministry. Are there also the, the people playing out the drama we're seeing in basketball? Uh, not really. Uh, the, the drama in basketball, if we can call it that, is, uh, is, very, is very interesting because you had a sitting president who didn't want to go through the new process the, that has been established mm. and wanted to stand on a, an imp, a constitution that was imperfect. Uh, why do I say it's imperfect? Because as chairman of the Sports Reform Committee, we had to put our ears to the ground. We're following everything that's mm -hmm. happened because the sports reform thing is an ongoing process. That's right. Uh, just to say that everything that has gone wrong or in this particular election will be solved. I mean, we'll find solutions to them by the next election. It won't happen. But talking basketball now, they wanted the UMA faction, I mean, presidency wanted to conduct their own election based on their co supposed constitution. constitution. Mm. But the constitution was imperfect. And if the constitution has to be used, it has to be approved or sanctioned by the, by the world body FIBA. That's right. Now, because the constitution is imperfect and doesn't meet basic standards, he cannot come up to you with a letter saying from FIBA saying that, oh, we have gone through your, your constitution. I think it meets international our standards, and I think it's good, and you can go ahead and implement it. You cannot get that kind of letter because FIBA will not accept most of the parameters, most of the dis things in that constitution. Mm. So they don't meet up to standards. But standard. they're an independent body. No, they're not. Who, has, who is an independent body? FIBA. FIBA is an international body, has to approve the constitution of the national federations. Okay. Okay. And in Nigeria, they say it has to also go through the Nigerian Olympic Committee. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And then, of course, and the you know that has it has to, to the be ministry. vetted. Yes, it has to be vetted by the ministry in some way because it has to go through the ministry and then NOC, and then to FIBA. Yeah. Now, okay, let's even take away the ministry parts. The NOC, as we know it today, say they, they have not approved any constitution of the Nigerian Basketball, Basketball Federation. Federation. Wow. So that is the first step. Mm. If it says it's been approved by FIBA, does he have a letter from FIBA saying that your constitution is good to go? So, Godwin, are you saying the Tijani Umar... Uh, group the fight in a lost battle i think so because they're just being rebellious and i think that mm. it didn't it, 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 he has been fighting the entire reform process from the presidency to the house of assembly with propaganda wrong information etc for instance they went and held a, a an election, election in Kano, Kano. and there were supposed to be quote unquote two chairmen of states at that election, okay. which they claimed had to, and then <laughs> club reps, etc., yeah. etc. Et mm. Now, he said there was FIBA representation. If FIBA sends somebody, he has to have a name, he mm. has to have a designation, mm -hmm. but they will never tell you who this FIBA representative was. What about ministry officials? Of course, there, had, there will never be any ministry <laughs> official there, that's for sure. So the, 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 the entire process in Kano uh, flies in the face. It does, mm. cannot hold water. Mm. So it's, it's a losing battle. He's wow. gone to the House, he's gone to the presidency. They first raised the motion mm. trying to stop the entire election process. Right. But when they got the facts, the, when the House got the facts, a counter motion was, was put Issue. in place mm -hmm. to erase that one. So if you base your entire uh, uh, fight or your entire process on 
propaganda, mm. false information, false claims, etc., etc. It's going to just blow up in the okay, face Okay, that's for the Tijani rumor. God, we, we were all at the um, election venue at the Abuja National Stadium. We saw the empty seats. We'll see it again. Empty seats for the delegates of basketball. Why didn't the Musa Kida group turn up, let everybody see their, their own elections? Uh, I, I, um, I don't know whether I will get into trouble if I say this, but <laughs> the problem was that there were, there were plans to uh, serve an injunction mm. on, the, on, the, on the Basketball Federation saying that somebody has been deprived of representation and he wanted yeah. that election stopped. Mm. And I sense, I'm not saying categorically, I sense that one of the reasons they had to go to a private place was to avoid being served that injunction paper. I think so, okay? And the fact that the location is not in the guidelines, location is not in the entire process. Mm. So if that location was approved yeah. for safety reasons, for, for whatever reasons that the ministry uh, felt comfortable with, I think I think I think we can live with that. That's right. As long as all the federa all those uh, association chairmen, all the representatives, all the collegiate that formed that electoral college were happy to go somewhere where they will feel safe to conduct their elections. Ah, I think that shouldn't have well, been a problem. Well, it but a this and this is this is like an insider's information mm. that uh, it could have been. I'm not saying it was yes, right. because they were avoiding being served mm. an injunction. But just to set the record straight, these are all allegations for the time being and just opinion of Godwin Kenka. Let's get on with the show now and talk about tennis uh, properly. Uh, Ifeda Yoakim uh, is now the new president. Uh, you see him as someone that can turn tennis in Nigeria around? Yes, I, 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 I think he can because uh, what happened that when, when I was excluded, uh, of course, I, we, we moved our delegates to support him so that he could win pretty handily. And mm -hmm. he did win handily 39, 10 or so. Why did you uh, vote for him? Because he's a younger person. He's, he, has, he has shown some passion for the game. He sponsors one leg of the uh, satellite circuit. Mm -hmm. So if somebody can bring us such good money to sponsor an international event that will allow Nigerian players get ATP points, uh, then you know that that person knows one or two things about tennis.